Yo guys, what's going on? It's Marco from Luso Overland and I am pretty excited because today I have a new product to share with you, something that we're bringing to the United States and it's something that I have been wanting, have been dreaming about for over 20 years, uh, ever since I had my first car. Um, I've been wanting this product to exist. You know, why do our cars beep at us all the time for like stupid stuff and yet when something major something catastrophic is about to happen to our vehicles they don't beep at us and they don't warn us um, specifically when I was in high school my very first car I blew a head gasket within like a few months of owning it and it was gonna cost like thirteen hundred dollars to fix which was all the money in the world back then I mean uh, you know I was in high school working part-time minimum wage back then was five dollars an hour and I was just like what I didn't even know what a head gasket was I was like how would the car not tell you that you're about to overheat and cause this much damage because it knows you have a temperature gauge um, but and I'm kind of convinced this is a conspiracy by manufacturers and auto repair industry as a whole for either selling cars or fixing cars because like the car knows it's about to overheat right it's got a temperature sensor and um, the same thing could be said of the transmission and other components of the vehicles but they don't warn you other than what this this like one little this thing's gonna all of a sudden you know right I just started the car so it's low but like what it's gonna be sitting here and then within a few seconds gonna be pegged at hot and then it's too late you've probably already done the damage or maybe you might get a little light that turns on but no you know none of these things cause any kind of audible alarm I think it's crazy I think it's nuts I don't think that there's any excuse for it from a manufacturing side point uh, standpoint from these manufacturers but luckily leave it to the Australians they have figured it out this is the engine guard and it is a device that lets you monitor the temperature of anything on your vehicle, actually, not just the engine temperature, uh, monitor anything, monitor the transmission temperature. And not only can you monitor it, can you see what the temperatures are, but you can have this siren right there installed so that you have an audible alarm when you're gonna overheat. And you can set the temperature that triggers the alarm to whatever you want. So that's the problem. This is the solution. We're bringing these thing in, uh, these uh, products in from Australia. We, let me give you some more details. I have got two of these engine guards installed in this uh, 2005 Montero. And let me show you how they work. So this first one, these are dual engine guard sensors, which um, they can monitor two different things at the same time. So this one is showing me my engine temperature so like I said I just started the car it's up to 100 degrees and if I hit that next button right now I'm looking at the transmission temperature and if I uh, go over one more time that's showing me the alarm point I've got the alarm set on the engine at 225 and 220 on the transmission okay then if I go over to this one I've got this engine guard set up to monitor currently this one is the transfer case temperature and this is the rear differential uh, temperature. It's pretty cold outside and I'm not moving, so that's why it's at 49 degrees. And then again, the alarm point for the transfer case and the alarm point for the rear differential. So that is uh, where I decided to install these. You can install them anywhere. They're pretty small. You know, Most people are gonna just get one. Like this is a really good spot for it right here, but you can install it on any make, any model of vehicle. You can monitor any temperature. So we're monitoring these temperatures in real time. You can see as the engine's warming up. And it's super simple to install. As you can see in the kit, here's um, a sensor. And then at the end of the sensor, there's a ring terminal. So you just take out a bolt put the ring terminal on, put the bolt back in, and now that's where you're monitoring the temperature. And then you just run the wire, it comes with 16 feet of wire for each sensor, into the cabin, hook it up to the uh, display, which just needs power and ground, and you're in business. Um, the only thing that this doesn't come with is the power source 
So the easiest thing to do, what most people do, is just buy a, a piggyback fuse tap. Um, they're like five dollars, and just tap into your fuse box to give this thing power. But um, that's the basic gist of it. Just remove any bolt, and that's where it's going to measure the temperature. Now there are tips and tricks to doing it right on the engine. You don't want to choose something where the temperature is going to react slowly. You want to get on the cylinder head, and so you can get instant reactions to temperature changes. A good rule of thumb is that when you start your car, you should start seeing the temperature moving within 45 seconds of starting that car. Um, and on the cylinder head, I'm currently at like 20 something seconds and it starts to move. So it reacts very quickly to changes in temperature. In this vehicle, the back of the passenger side cylinder head where the rear cam seal is, that's a great spot for it. And you also wanna pick a spot where the sensor is not gonna be experiencing heat from other sources. So don't get it near your exhaust manifold, for example. So um, on the transmission, the sensor I have mounted on the housing just above the pan, kind of where the um, transmission oil lines feed in. And on the transfer case near the bottom where it's gonna be below the oil level. So it's gonna be getting that temperature of the oil as well. And on the rear diff, it's just, again, at the bottom, I just removed a cover bolt on the rear diff and put the sensor in the ring terminal and just put the bolt right back in. So this is it. This is the engine guard. You should never blow another head gasket again. You should never overheat a transmission again. You're going to get an audible um, alarm if you're getting close. And it's super simple to install. It's super simple to program. Um, setting your alarm points is real easy as well. You basically just hook everything up, take it and put the vehicle through its paces like what you would normally do. If you're gonna go four wheel driving and go four wheel driving and put it through its paces and these will automatically record the highest temperature that you experienced. And then from there you can say, all right, well that was the highest temperature that I could get this thing to. I'm gonna go 10 degrees above that and set that as my alarm point. Or I'm gonna go uh, seven degrees above that and set that as my alarm point. So you can really tailor it. For you Gen 3 Montero guys, you know, why did I do this rear differential? Well, because Gen 3 Monteros have a defect where the rear half shafts, the stub axles can pop out of the differential slightly. You lose your gear oil and you destroy your rear differential. And if you've got a locker or an LSD in there, you could also destroy that. So it can be a really costly mistake just because Mitsubishi made the circlips just a hair too small. So you could have that peace of mind. I know that even though I've abated that problem with a, a bigger circlip, like I know I don't have to worry about it. If that rear differential starts to heat up, I instantly know about it and I get an audible alarm. If you're thinking the temperatures seem high, for example, on the engine, like I've got this to alarm at 225, maybe that seems a little high to you. I think the thermostat on this might open at like 190, if I remember correctly and it usually runs in that 180 to 190 range. But you gotta remember like we're measuring the metal, we're measuring the temperature on the cylinder head. It's going to be much hotter than the temperature of the coolant throwing, flowing through the engine, going back through the radiator, cooling down. Um, so it's gonna be different than what we're used to thinking about because we're used to thinking about engine coolant temperature, but now we're looking at actual engine temperature on the cylinder heads. And the great thing about that is, you know, they react very quickly to temperature changes, but also if you lose your coolant, if you have a coolant leak, it's not a guarantee that your needle is gonna pick that up. On some vehicles it will, sometimes it won't, um, but this is gonna pick that up. And that's gonna, this is gonna let you know instantly what's going on to your engine temperature. You could really fine tune it, put a sensor on each cylinder head. And really we're not, I mean, it's not so much the number that you're concerned about. Like if you're cruising and you see that your vehicle is normally displaying at like 190, okay, but what's important is the change. All of a sudden you notice you're at 195, 200, like that difference is what is important, that you're running hotter than what is your normal. Check it out you guys, lusaoverland.com, the engine guard, 
love having it. Like I said, I'm never gonna have a vehicle without one of these.